I'm continuing on with my immutable tutorials and today I want to talk a little bit about maps what they are and how to get set create and potentially update a map in further podcast in further um, tutorials what I'll do is start going through the other options that are available available to you with uh, maps but for now I just want to go through the basics heading over to Facebook's page um, the the first paragraph um, really unless you've been on a university course and got a degree then you're probably not going to be able to understand one single line or one single word in fact of that gibberish uh, basically it's trying to tell you that we have a map and it's a key value pair and it's quite efficient in what it does but let's try and get to a working example shall we right, okay I have a test here um, using Mocha. The implementation is not important. What I want to do is just show you through the few lines of code that it takes to set up a map. Here we've created a map and although I've actually passed in an object, this is going to convert this to a key valued pair. And what we're going to get is uh, an array which has a few keys in it, which is first name, surname and age. And that is going to go into a variable I've just called my map. So if we run um, a, a set, what we're basically doing is we want to say that the value or the key within this array, I want you to set it to John, please. Well, if you're dealing with arrays um, in JavaScript, what would happen is that would mutate that object. And for lots of reasons, that, that's problematic. So in this scenario, what happens is a new array, a new map is created. And I've just so happened to call it my map. John and the value with the first name will be updated however the other values for instance surname and age will remain intact and my map John will include all of them so what I'm doing is I'm setting that value it's creating a new map and putting it into this variable and then I'm using the get method to get the key and double check just to make sure it equals John if I change this, what should happen is I should get failing tests. Yep, I do. So that shows that uh, John is in fact placed into this key. However, just to confirm, my map has not been changed. Although we run the set operator on my map, this my map variable has not been affected and it still equals Gary, which was its original value. Hence, immutable, it cannot be changed and it shouldn't be changed. Further on, what I'm doing is I'm just doing a check to make sure that all of the values are still there and that the objects are not the same object. Sometimes you can have a scenario where you equal something and what you're doing is you're making one object the same reference or pointer or exactly the same thing as the other object. That's not what's happening here. This is creating a brand new object to deal with. And that's the basics of a map. Not that complicated and didn't really need that paragraph. 